Rareware. Oh my gosh, Nintendo presents. What did they present? It's Cranky Kong winding up his uh, cassette tape. Oh my gosh. Hey everybody, Capelum Games here, and welcome to my Let's Play, not stream, Let's Play of Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. I, um, I streamed this game once before already, and I did it in one stream, the whole game, 100%. Um, but that stream wasn't good, so I was like, hey, I have uh, the means to record this now on the SNES Classic, so I I'm a I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play the game the way that it's meant to be played, and uh, we're gonna be taking our time with it this time around. We're going to be doing each world in one video, that's the plan at least. Maybe the later worlds won't be in one video, but for the start here, that's the goal at least. And uh, we're gonna be going for 100%. Donkey Kong Country is one of my favorite video games of all time, one of my favorite platformers of all time. I'm not someone who is huge on platformers, um, but this one always spoke to me. Anyways, let's jump into Jungle Hijinks. We start up the game, and Y is to roll, and it also runs. Let's check out these uh, caves here. Kong's Banana Horde. But yeah, so as I was saying, Donkey Kong Country is one of my favorite platformers out there. I just really enjoy the game. I really enjoy speeding through it. This is one of the games that I would definitely learn as a speedrun if I could. Uh, if we come over there to the top of the DK's cabin looking place, we get an extra life, which is nice. Um, we can break open a barrel to get Diddy Kong. Diddy is my favorite Kong in this game. He, uh, well, no offense to Donkey, but I think Diddy Kong is just objectively better in pretty much every way. And, uh, we can kind of just cheat past part of the level by rolling on those trees there to get extra lives. And we come here and we get Rambe. Nice! K-O-N! And we can break open, um, walls with Rambi to find secrets! Not bad! I, um, usually when I play this game, I don't even bother with the secrets. I don't bother with, like, looking for things. So, it's gonna be a little bit of a change of pace for me to actually go for 100%. I do remember where a lot of the things are. Uh, this one we have to match up the animal buddy tokens. And the there we go. That one's actually not that bad. It's just a timing game. The animal tokens. Um, I'll be perfectly frank. The animal tokens aren't that great. They just give you bonus mini games where you can get extra lives. Which, if you're, you know, not struggling with lives, then they're pretty much pointless. I think there's actually. Is there not extra lives up here? I thought there was for some reason. Um. But yeah, like I said, usually when I play this game, I just speed through it. I don't even bother with the secrets, but for the purposes of the Let's Play, we're going to be taking our time with things. Anyways, that's Jungle Hijinx 100% did. You can tell if you got all the secrets in the level, because if you do, then you'll get an exclamation mark next to it. Let's go on to Ropey Rampage. And um, real quick, I really do like the naming scheme of a lot of these levels. Uh, they kind of have alliteration woven into them, like Jungle Hijinks, Ropey Rampage. There's going to be one later in this episode called Coral Capers. So they really like their alliteration and their rhyming. Let's get this Rambi token up here. Rambi is the rhinoceros that we came across in the first level. And these armadillo looking enemies. We can kill them as Diddy, but we have to jump on him twice because Diddy is a little bit of a weakling. He um he can't hit some of the enemies, or if he can, it takes more turns to kill them. Uh, Donkey Kong has more sheer force, so he'll be able to kill enemies more easily. Uh, anyways, there's a little secret here that is pretty well hidden. I don't know if you would be able to find that regularly. Like That seems pretty obscure just to jump down a random pit to find that. But if you know about it, then it's not too bad. And by doing that, we actually skip a lot of the level, but we're not missing any secrets in the process, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, 
We were supposed to hit that to get a... To get a, um... What's it called? A trampoline. A bouncy tire. But we managed to do it anyways because Diddy just has a high jump. Yeah, Diddy is a very nimble character. He's fast and he can roll better and he has more momentum. So even though he's not as strong as Donkey Kong, I prefer to play as him usually. And once we get to the end of the level, you can see it goes back to like sunrise, like happiness, no more rain. But if you look really closely, there's actually a bonus barrel down here. So unlike with DKC2 and 3, um, there's really no like apparent benefit to getting 100%. It's just for bragging rights, but I wanted to do it anyways. Yay, we did it. And yeah, um, this Let's Play overall is just going to be a lot more of a chill Let's Play compared to Mother 3. I mean, Mother 3 was a really good Let's Play, but, um, you know, it was obviously very researched, very, like, heavily edited, you know. And um, this series is going to be a little bit more chill and laid back, kind of as like a buffer series. Because I really do like this game and I want to play it properly for all of you. Uh, there's a secret right at the start of this level here. And um, you can see these little crevices. You will automatically crawl through them. But if you roll and jump, you can kind of get through them really quickly. This is a little bit of a speedrunner trick. It allows you to get through the crevices faster than you should. Anyways, this is Reptile Rumble. It's a cave level. And there's another secret here. This one actually has like, I think four secrets? No, I think it's actually just three. But it has more secret areas than the last two levels. All right, let's roll, roll, roll. And you can see Diddy's roll really does a number on these dudes. Jump through there. Get the halfway barrel. Uh, those sparkly barrels that we've been coming across, those are the halfway barrels. Um, and then this one we have to... There we go. Secret in that wall. And we can just get some bananas here. Bananas act like coins in Mario. Uh, you get a hundred of them and you get an extra life. Similarly, with the Kong letters, if you get every Kong letter in a stage, you will also get an extra life, but they are not required for 100%. That's an our guard token. On guard is the swordfish that is an animal buddy in the aquatic stages. We haven't come across him yet, but that's what his token looks like. These Kremlings are just jumping around. And that's Reptile Rumble completed 100%. Nice. Coral Capers! Ah, oh, Aquatic Ambience. One of my favorite songs in the game. One of my favorite songs on the SNES just in general. This is a... Um, just a really good chill track. Um, yeah, Coral Capers, there's actually not any secret areas to find. There are these little like caverns with like bananas and stuff, um, but there's no like official secrets to get. So we can kind of just take it chill, take it easy and go for this level like without worrying too much. I see an arrow here that's made out of bananas. And if we follow the arrow, we get on a guard. I just mentioned him. Let's go to the right here and we get a balloon and we can actually hide up here. The expected path is for you to go around, but you can actually just hide up there to skip the cycle of the octopus. Those octopuses will hurt you if you touch them. On guard can kill the fish and the sharks down here, um, but you can't kill the octopuses. The octopi are immune. All right, let's just head down. And there's another on guard there if you lost this one. But if you've been careful, then it should be okay. There's actually a secret over here. Another espresso token. After I show off each of the bonus games for the animal buddies, I'm not going to be going out of my way to collect their tokens anymore. It's just for the beginning part. I'll show off each of their mini games once, probably. Oh, I lost espresso. Or not espresso. Oh my god. I lost a uh, on guard. Espresso was the token we got. I got them confused. Coral Capers is done. Nice chill little level there. And let's head on to Barrel Cannon Canyon. Yeah, so if I'm ever like, this is one of those games where if I'm ever just like, you know, 
having a bad day or I'm frustrated, I'll just like beat the entirety of Donkey Kong Country just for fun. Usually I don't go for 100%, but uh, this is one of those games that I can just sit down and beat in one sitting, and uh, I actually do that quite frequently. Also, I just realized I went the speed route for this level. I skipped a bonus area. This is the second bonus area, but it's only the first one we've come across. Uh, so Barrel Cannon Canyon, the way this uh, thing works is the barrels, you have to press B to activate them. And once you press B, they shoot you in the direction you're supposed to go. A lot of games have used barrel cannon type mechanics since this game. Um, but I think this was one of the first to actually do it. And it's like probably the most prevalent the mechanics ever been. So... Yeah, that's what I thought. I think um, there's a bonus barrel like literally right before the checkpoint that I can get. I don't know if I can get it on this playthrough. I might have to... No, I can get it. I, I can totally get it. I just have to do a blind jump and make it work. Yeah, um... Normally I would not even bother with these secrets. There we go! Got it! So yeah, if you um shoot at the wall, usually that would mean certain death, but in this scenario, it actually means, hey, you found a secret. Good for you, buddy. All right, let's do a roll, stop, rolls, roll, stop, roll, roll, stop, roll. And usually if you get the momentum right, you can just plow through all of them. And I think we got all the secrets, so I can just go the speed route, get up here, and we skip the rest of the level. Pretty nice. And we get the G that way. Nice. Barrel Cannon Canyon is done. Um... We have Candy save points, so if you go talk to Candy, you can save your game. Funky Flights lets you go to the world select screen if you want to go back to separate worlds. Right now, this is the only world we have unlocked, so it's not going to matter too much. But just in case you want to utilize that. Uh, I think we're good for now. Let's just go to Very Naughty's lair. Very Naughty! He's a pretty simple boss. You just have to jump on his head five times and he'll be dead. There you go. Simple. And, uh, I just realized that we only used Donkey in literally the first level. Huh. Okay. Well, that was the first World Congo Jungle done. And, um, next time on Donkey Kong Country, we take on the Monkey Mines. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.